Hi, this is Bruce with Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to talk about the basics of plasma arc cutting. So what you'll need to cut is a plasma arc cutter, a compressed gas or an inert gas, a gas that won't burn. Here's a negative lead. You'll need a ground clamp and a cutting torch. With this equipment we can cut any anything that will conduct electricity. So what happens when you initiate an arc? You're forcing compressed air through a nozzle, an arc is formed, the pilot arc, and it creates uh, a plasma. Some of that compressed air is turned into a plasma state, and the plasma is forced with the air through the nozzle, and that's what does the cutting. So what's happening here? The, uh, when you initiate the, the torch, you create a high voltage, low current, uh, spark inside the torch and the spark is igniting the air coming through, the compressed air coming through and you're forming a pocket of plasma. Now when you come in contact with the metal, that pocket, it, the, the air is being forced through and the plasma is now being forced out and you're forcing the plasma through the air um, and cutting through the metal or anything that conducts electricity. When we're cutting with this, we're cutting at about 25 to 50,000 degrees, and that is way, way above the molten state of, of all metals, uh, gold, silver, uh, aluminum, iron, steel, uh, anything that will conduct electricity. You're way, way above all the molten temperatures of all these materials. So that's why the plasma arc cutter uh, can cut so efficiently through all these materials. Most applications these days are CNC tables, computer numeric control tables, and they work on an X and Y axis. You see them zip around and they cut out names. They're limited to cutting flat plate and anything you can think of to enter into a uh, 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 data points you can cut with a CNC machine. But what we like about this machine, what we like about having it here is that we can just freehand things. It's super portable. We just have the machine, uh, an air supply, air source, and a uh, 110 power outlet. We can cut through anything, anywhere. We can cut brackets. We can cut uh, parts that we need to shorten or lengthen. Anything we need to cut made out of metal or that'll conduct electricity, we can take it, this machine, wherever we want to, around the shop and cut with it. I'm going to hook up the, uh, the Longevity's 42i and I'll show you how easy it is to hook up the plasma arc cutter. So here's our dense connector, our ground clamp, this plug, so that in turn. Here's the torch lead. It's got a little locating pin so that just locks in. Screw it down. Now this is a dual voltage machine, the 42i. So uh, it's 220 coming out of the machine. This is its regular voltage, but we want to run uh, an adapted voltage, so we're going to put this, this 220 to 110 adapter on. Now we're 110 coming out of the wall. I have my compressed air uh, connected in the back, and we're ready to cut with a 42i. A uh, quick word about safety. Keep some pliers, vice grips, something to handle metal around because it is going to be really hot, 30 to 50,000 degrees while we're cutting. Uh, gloves, always a good idea. Um, they don't have to be something real heavy duty, something light, uh, but the UVs will burn your skin, so wear long sleeves, gloves. Eyes, uh, most people wear a, a five, six, seven lens. You can, some welding helmets, uh, the Power View Elite here is ranges from five, six, seven to 13, so you could wear your welding helmet while you're cutting. And inhalation, uh, some of these materials that you cut give off a toxic fume, so protect your lungs with something. Be aware of, of what the material is that you're cutting. The, the black circle is my 110. Uh, voltage setting and the red band here is my 220 uh, voltage setting. So I can only cut in the black band while we're in 110. So my max is going to be about 30 amps there. When I go to 220, then I can go to up to 40 amps. And obviously more power, more amps equals uh, thicker cutting of materials of plates. To set the machine up, I'm on run here. So it's ready to go. If I want to set the machine, I just flip the set and it's going to set. You saw that I had 60 PSI in my machine, so I'm set here. And this will run for another five seconds and then shut off. Machine's ready to go. I'm running at 60 PSI, as you saw. Uh, 
PT60 here, torch has a nice trigger guard, so you're not going to ignite the torch just randomly. This is 18-gauge uh, stainless, 8th-inch uh, bar stock, and some quarter-inch uh, just bar stock, too. So let's see how we do. All right. You can see that the machine is easy to work with. It's easy to learn. Uh, you can start cutting right away. If you want to be more accurate, you can set up like a, a non-electrical conducting a piece of wood, uh, something that it will give you a border to cut straighter lines on. Uh, we're just freehanding here. This machine is super portable, uh, easy to move around the shop, just need the compressor and the 110 circuit. When we want to cut the thicker metals, we just step it up to 220 and we can cut up to uh, one inch uh, severance. So nice portable machine, easy to work with, easy to learn. Uh, thanks for watching today at Longevity's Learning Lab and I hope you learned something. As always, thanks for watching.